First edition begins this hour with a new set of stroke prevention guidelines released by the American Stroke Association. It's the first time they've made a change in a decade. Our Madeline Salinas joins us live in studios with how the new measure could prevent more than 80% of stroke cases from happening. Madeline. That's right. The CDC reports that every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. has a stroke and every three minutes, somebody dies of one. These new guidelines stress that strokes are preventable and can be stopped at the source with early intervention and better daily habits. Stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in the United States. Nearly 160,000 people unfortunately die from stroke every year. Um, around 800,000 strokes happen every year. Out of those 800,000, around 600,000 would be the first stroke. For the first time since 2014, the American Stroke Association has updated its series of guidelines for the primary prevention of stroke. The guidelines point to a series of steps Americans can take to ensure they keep their risk factors such as blood pressure, diet, and cholesterol in check. The most important um, factor we would like people to know about stroke that it is preventable. Corpus Christi Medical Center neurologist Dr. Ziad Darkurbani said the most important strategy and the one that is at the top of the American Stroke Association's list is for patients to have a primary care doctor that can perform routine health screenings. Having a primary care provider from birth to an old age is incredibly important to identify the risk, mitigate this risk, and reduce the risk of stroke. The American Stroke Association also points to regular physical activity to improve blood pressure, insulin resistance, and weight management. There are significant advan uh, advances that happen in our understanding of um, risk factors that lead to a stroke, and also significant advances in how to mitigate and manage these risk factors. Dr. Darkabani says it's all about changing your daily habits. Over his years of working in stroke and intervention, he realized that there was a misconception amongst patients and the general public that strokes happened at random and weren't preventable. And this has significantly changed over the years. Um, the idea that stroke is preventable is also a very, very important concept nowadays, especially we understand that 80% of stroke can be preventable if we treat and manage the risk factors aggressively. Now, very important to remember, if you're ever in a situation where you feel someone you're with may be having a stroke, the American Heart Association recommends using the FAST acronym. F for face drooping, A to check for arm and leg weakness, S to check for slurred speech, and T meaning it's time to call 911. For more information on the new 2024 guideline for primary prevention of a stroke, you can visit KTRIPLITV.com. John Thomas.